This fly is the Mershon. William B. Mershon took a fly called the Maori, and he had William Mills in New York, a large fly concern, or sporting goods concern, really, tie some up with the bright blue mallard wings, which he felt would be more effective. And the fly was later named for him. This thread I'm using is Beneki 12 aught black. Any black thread will do just fine. This hook is a number 10. Typically these were tied in 8, 10, and 12. At least that's the way Mershon liked them. The hook's a must add 33.99. And uh, it's a pretty simple fly. Uh, the, these are black hackle strands for the tail. Just a few uh, fairly stiff cock hackles. And I've sped up some of the uh, bodybuilding sequences here where I'm building a taper with the thread. Life is too short to sit around watching somebody wrap thread. Do a lot of flattening of the thread in between every every so often. The thread will will tend to twist back up as you wind it. So you have to keep untwisting it. This is one strand of Danville's four-strand black floss. Just tying it in underneath the hook. I always leave myself plenty to work with. It just makes it easier to, to cut off. I waste a lot of materials, but I don't view it as a waste. Uh, I made a decision years ago to spend all my disposable income on fly tying. And it's worked out beautifully. Just about done with the body here. I'll stroke this floss quite a bit to get the little kinks out of it before I start winding. I got that from George Kelson, his book, The Salmon Fly, in the late 1800s. And it really makes a difference. I, I like doing that. I'm trying for a small head on this one, so I don't want to leave too much room up front. I'm sure it's psychological, but the more room you leave up front, the head seems to expand to fill that room. I don't know why that is. This is a uh, black hen saddle hackle. Whiting. You can use any kind of hen, hen hackle for this. I like to do four turns if I can get it, if I've got enough room. J. Edson Leonard had a different, slightly different version of this with silver tag and, and uh, silver tinsel ribbing. But it's not the original, and Ray Bergman doesn't have it that way either. 
So I, I'm going with this one. And that, the four turns, that's just a preference on my part. Uh, there's no hard and fast rules about turns of hackle. If you want your hackle to be more sparse, do fewer turns. Here I'm trapping the, the stem. Notice how I pulled the stem forward. And that will help with this cut to keep the strays down. And looks like I finally got one here with no strays. And I'm only going to pull this hackle down enough to uh, keep it from sticking up above the the hook. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a full beard of this. It's gonna be a little a little different from the uh, Mershon White I did, which had a true beard. This is gonna be a little more natural, a little wilder looking. Hackle, but I still don't want it sticking up in the way of the wing because these uh, these mallard slips, these blue mallard slips, are uh, they're they're not stiff. They're, they're they're a little bit flimsy. So the hackle, if it was sticking up, would really affect them. The near slip was cut from a right mallard feather. And the far slip from a left. These are these are pretty tough to deal with. They just want to collapse. I wanted a, a, a little wider wing on this, and I, I think I've got it here. I always try to set some goals when I tie a fly. You know, hey, I'm going to try for a big wing or what, whatever, whatever pops into my head. I want to have a purpose for what I'm doing. I don't, I don't want to just blindly tie away. Sometimes it can be a looks thing. Sometimes it can be, you know, I want, I want it to float in a certain way, whatever. Whatever. Wrapping aggressively up the, the 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 head here. I think I'll just do a single whip finish on this. Again, trying to keep the sides of the head down. Cut it off and we'll see what we've got. By the way, I, I added a little glue at the very tail end of the floss body, right below the tail, uh, to prevent the floss from running off the back of the, of the fly. That'll fish. It's a fun fly to tie. Spend some time selecting the mallard.